Okay, it's Friday. Back from shopping. I went to, I don't know, maybe like five sales or so today. Um, here's everything I got. I think I spent like $51, something like that. I'm going to go through it quick. I don't have a lot of time today. Um, I'll start with the clothes. For a dollar, got a Ralph Lauren dress. It is uh, potentially for um, the kid. Um, got myself a nice shirt. And the funny thing is, we bought like a nice wool coat for the winter. Uh, which you can see here, uh, Karen, whatever. But this is probably there, probably a hundred fifty dollar coat or something like that. That was two dollars, and then at the same sale, I bought the shirt for four dollars. I don't know, doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. Um, I'll do the jewelry next because that's probably the best stuff we got to get uh, today. All of this thirty dollars. Um, I'll start off. These are gold, and um, probably a cubic. Yeah, it says right there. Look at that bug. Oh, it's really colorful. Um, that was cubic zirconia. It's genuine cubic zirconia. Okay. Um, but these are gold, so they're probably like 30, 50, we'll probably get like 30 to $40 for them. Um, let's see. This is just a nice, looks like base metal vintage uh, bracelet with red stones. Uh, native design, solid copper by Bell, probably from the 70s. Uh, this my wife has to glue this stone back on but it's just a nice green stone bracelet uh, let's see she's got some earrings I think these are silver screw backs with uh, malachite stone and little crystals here's a nice pair of enamel uh, earrings we should probably look this stuff up because I know the cufflinks go for a lot of money so maybe the um, guilloche enamel Sterling earrings might go for good money too. Um, more screw back earrings. These are sterling, probably like Mexican, and then these are just gold tone uh, clip ons. Uh, people do ask for clip ons, so when she gets ni nice ones, you know. Um, so, like I said, we paid 30 for everything. Uh, she got a couple of uh, glass cameos, black glass, and then she has a set, um, like a blue glass cameo in gold tone with clip-on matching earrings. She has a person that likes this kind of stuff. Uh, anything sets. So, okay. um, enamel set. Pin. And it's a sunflower, I guess. With clip-on earrings. Not made by anybody. And then, uh, this is probably the coolest thing she got. And I'm having a hard time figuring out what's going on with it. Um, it's signed in the back, and it looks like To me, it looks like Beruzzi or Benuzzi, like B-E-R-U-Z-Z-I -Z or B-E-N-U-Z-Z-I, -Z and then it says Sterling, and it looks like it says Boston. I tried to do a quick Google, uh, I'm sorry, eBay search to see if I can figure out anything on it, and I could not find anything. I'm probably just going to put this on eBay. Um, I would call this a Gothic design Sterling cross. Um, here's the chain. It has like a nice embossed kind of like pine cone and a swirl design beads um, at the flea market they'd probably want to give me like 10 to 20 for it uh, the ones that I go to so uh, that's probably the most interesting thing that's going to take a little bit of research for me uh, $14 I got a bunch of cassettes and I found that cassettes depending on the title you can sell them for one to two dollars at the flea markets sometimes on Amazon they're worth more um, but I don't really list anything on Amazon that's not worth at least maybe 12 or $15 or something like that. Um, so whatever these are worth, I'll sell them at the flea market for between $1 and $2 or Amazon. Let me just go through the titles. Uh, Ricky Nelson, all-time greatest hits, can't go wrong. Uh, Neil Diamond, best years of our lives. Billy Joel, The Bridge. Billy Joel, River of Dreams. Billy Jones, Bo Billy Joel, Colite. I have no clue what it. Co-liped. co, -liped. co -liped, maybe. Uh, Michael Jackson, Dangerous, and Phil Collins hits live. I want to make these $4, 2 for 7 3 for Denton, and that's how I'm going to sell them. Um, here's the cassettes I got. I got Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't know if anybody knows about Tim Curry, but he had a stroke a few years back, so uh, he's not doing as well as he used to be. Um, Deep Purple, Machine Head, um, Bon Jovi, Meatloaf, Dead Ringer. Um, these are four for a dollar, so I kind of bought 
one or two just to make it or to make it up to a dollar. Uh, Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, a very classic album. Joe Walsh, I don't know if anybody knows who Joe Walsh is, but he's, he's a good rocker. James Taylor, Greatest Hits, Poison. This I bought for fun. I have a cassette player somewhere, and my daughter likes Beetlejuice, so whatever. Uh, Van Halen, Judas Priest, always buy Judas Priest, uh, REO Speedwagon, Billy Idol, Meatloaf, boy, I have like three Meatloaf, bad out of hell. Maybe they're worth putting on eBay. Motley Crue, Pink Floyd, The Wall, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, Elvis, a legendary performer, another Judas uh, Priest, British Steel, Another Pink Floyd, The Division Bell, David Lee Roth, um, Eat em and Smile. David Lee Roth is, of course, was the lead singer in Van Halen. I, he might be again, I don't know. Billy Joel, Aerosmith, Simon and Garfunkel, uh, Aerosmith Gems, which I guess is the best of. Some of these cases have some weird crud on the side. I'll see if I can clean them a little. Men at Work, Guns N' Roses, Lies, and White Snake. That's it. That's everything I got today. Tomorrow, uh, I'm almost positively going to the Meadowlands to sell, so I won't really be doing any shopping. I mean, I'll try and shop at the Meadowlands, but um, I don't always find much there. There's a lot of competition for games, so if I do get anything, it'll be like a few miscellaneous decorative pieces, or I mean, I might get lucky and find games, or it would be like CDs or maybe some perfumes. I don't know, but... Uh, I'm more into selling tomorrow, and uh, so if you want to find me, look for me at the Meadowlands tomorrow, and uh, then on Sunday I'll be at Lynnhurst, um, which is the J&C Promotions Market.